Hi everyone, it's Sierra from The Home Blondie and in this video we are going to unbox and review the Bissell Turbo Clean Power Brush Pet Carpet Cleaner. So I decided to purchase this because lately when I walk in our house I just feel like it smells like a dog and I have the mini Bissell, it's like a spot cleaner and I use that to clean our couch. I actually just did that today so you'll see that our couch is all torn apart and we do use that on our rugs occasionally and it works really well but I just wanted something bigger that could cover like an entire rug and we have multiple rugs throughout our house so yeah i just wanted something easy that i could keep at home to give those a good cleaning and i really love my little bissell spot cleaning machine i'll have to look to see exactly what it's called and i'll link it in the description box below but yes like i said i use that primarily to clean our couch and if you want to see a video where i'm doing that then i will link that video below as well but anyway, while I was standing in the vacuum aisle at Target trying to figure out which carpet cleaner to go with, I just went ahead and got the Bissell brand because, like I said, I like that other machine. But I don't really know anything about this besides that it was like the cheapest one. I think it was $113. I got it on sale, but they had even more options. Some that went up to, I think even $600. So I'm really hoping that this is still a good quality machine. So I'll open it up and I'll show you what my rug looks like before. And then I'll show you what it looks like after and give you my review of how this works. Okay, so here is a before view of my rug. Like I said, our couch is torn apart because I just got done cleaning that. And yes, I know I'm crazy for having a white rug. So this part was kind of below or underneath the couch. So that's the color that it should be. This is where our coffee table is. So that's pretty clean too. But then you can see where it's darker all around. I really didn't realize it was that bad until I moved the couch and now I'm like, wow, this is really gross. So I really hope I can get it clean. Okay, so that was really easy to put together. It just came with like well, technically four different pieces. So this big part, this is another piece, and then the handle is another piece. And then I need to fill this up. I think this is where you put the soapy water. Okay, so it says to fill it up to here with hot water. And then it came with this Bissell cleaning solution. So I think I'm going to go ahead and use this just for the purpose of this review. But typically in my other Bissell cleaning machine, I use my Thieves household cleaner. And I think that works really well. I'm really tempted to just use that now because I know it works well, but I'll just go ahead and give this a try. Okay, so in the back, there's a red button here that you push to turn it on. And then this is the pedal that you'll step on to pull this back. And then the instructions say to hold this down and do one pass forward, one pass back, and then let go of that and go over it to suction up the dirty water. Gosh, it keeps doing this where it pulls up all of this dog hair and I just vacuumed before I used this so I feel like that's a good sign it's really getting deep down and pulling out the dirt and hair so I figured I should say that I am NOT following the directions so I already had to fill this up again so I ended up using my thieves household cleaner because I used all of the 
sample that they gave in the first round. So I'm just holding down the button and putting the shampoo all over it because I feel like it should have some time to sit and soak in before I like vacuum it up. So I just went all the way across back and forth this way, um, holding the lever down so that it sprays out the soap. And now I'm gonna do the same thing in this opposite direction all the way across just to really get in there and try to get up as much of the dirt as possible. Okay, so I haven't even gone through to suction it up yet. This is everything that was just collected when I was holding that lever down, releasing the cleaning solution. So that is really gross, but I want to empty this to see what comes up when I'm just going over it just with suction. So I'm gonna pour this down the toilet and I'll be right back. Another thing to mention is that I feel like the drain hole is in a really good spot where it's easy to dump it out. I feel like with other cleaning machines I've had before, the design of that is such a pain to actually get all the dirty water out and it just like gets stuck in there. So that's a plus. <laughs> this bottom part and wipe in there and then I can also take a little towel and like scoop all of that out it is so disgusting I cannot believe how much hair this pulled out of my rug okay well I'm all finished and this is what the rug looks like it's actually pretty dry but I do have this fan going just because it's still a tiny bit damp it's kind of hard to tell, but it definitely looks a lot cleaner. I feel like some areas still look a little dirty, but I feel like that's to be expected because it is a white rug. But overall, it's definitely an improvement from what it was before. Okay, so final thoughts on this machine. I thought it did an awesome job. It actually worked a lot better than I was expecting from the price that I paid for it. I feel like it's really lightweight, so it's easy to use, but it feels like heavy duty enough, like it's actually doing the job. It pulled out so much dog hair in my rug, so I'm starting to think that maybe my vacuum isn't working as well as I thought it was. But a major benefit of this carpet cleaner is that even though it has this brush on the bottom, the dog hair didn't get completely wrapped around it, which is the issue I typically run into with vacuums and carpet cleaners. And it was really easy just to reach inside with a towel and like pull all of the hair out that was getting stuck in there. I also think it was really helpful like going in different directions across the rug just to make sure you're really getting in there and really getting it shampooed well and then i also dried it going in different directions too and if you get this i would recommend like dumping out the dirty bin a few different times just to make sure that you're drying it completely and really pulling all of the dirt out of your rug but at this point after using it one time i would recommend it i don't have anything negative to say about it except for maybe the cleaner that comes with it. I just feel like that cleaner smells so strong and almost like chemically, but I use all natural cleaners, so I'm a little sensitive to those things, but I use the Thieves Household Cleaner. I feel like it smells so good and it works really well. So I'll leave that linked in the description box 
down below as well if you're interested in trying out that cleaner. It's what I use throughout my entire house. All right, you guys, well, that is it for this review. So I hope it was helpful if you have been looking for a carpet cleaner or if you have been eyeing this machine, I will have this exact one linked in the description box below. But if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. I post videos every week about cleaning, decorating, renovations, or just lifestyle things. So thank you so much for watching and I will be back very soon. Bye. Thank you.